sounds, sounds and, voices and voices from Le Maire. From Le Maire. December, December 2021. 2021. Valentina Magaletti talking, talking about, about art, about passions, passions and work as a drummer. Hi, my name is Valentina Magaletti. And I play drums in few projects. I started playing music when I was quite young, uh, around 12. And uh, I studied in southern Italy. I studied music at the Conservatoire for a bit. And I had the chance to, to do lots of workshop with um, lots of different um, great drummers. Unfortunately, all male drummers at the time. But I recall, um, you know, like Ella De Baldini, which is the drummer, like a historical drummer that played with Mina and Morricone and all the library stuff. And then um, one of my mentors was Agostino Marangolo from Goblin. He was famous for Dario Argento's Giallo's um, soundtrack. He's my friend and my mentor. We played a lot together and uh, it's been very, very inspiring for my career. None of my family is musical at all. Um, they all into law or financial things and, you know, just very conventional uh, middle-class jobs. But none of them are very artistic, I would say. Well, we had always had a piano in my house and I remember being really, really young. I'm talking like three or four years old and I remember this box making music thinking it was like the most insane, amazing thing. To this present day, piano is my, my favorite percussive instrument. But, um, you know, it wasn't just rhythm, it was also melodies and the frequencies and as you say, the sound. It was very dreamy. It was a world that I could go and not thinking about anything. I would say that the improvisation is the first step that towards a collaboration because not all dialogue are uh, constructive. Not all dialogues happen. You know, sometimes you talk and connect and, and what other people say resonates to you. Some other times you really don't click, and that's the beauty of it. I am a massive art lover, like visual art and loads of like canvas and screen print. So the visual element and the format, the square, like is my favorite uh, geometric form. The vinyl entails everything that I love. I just love everything about vinyl, basically. I love study and academic approach, but I'm not. I won't consider myself a nerd, like a cultural nerd. I just absorb what I what resonates with me, and I love the urge of what's there. You know, um, when something really speaks to me, then I'm very enthusiastic about it. If I have any time off, the first thing I would go to a museum. Um, just ch checking whatever's is new or whatever the permanent collection is. I have a soft spot for like the the Dada, the Bauhaus, the collage art, which resonates also in the way I 
I edit my music. It's very like collage art. Just like excursion of dynamics that goes from like really vivid color to black and white, from photograph to acrylic. and I draw myself a lot. Some people just say, no, you can't, because your thing is music. Probably my, my favorite musicians never ever had a music lesson. You don't have to be academically trained at all. If it resonates, it resonates. The opportunities have to be equal, and it's never been. It's really sad that uh, only you know three or ten percent of the music business is female. If I could help, or if I could be of any inspiration for any women, I I would you know. And I try even on on my solo project to work with as many women as possible. You can tell when someone is very beautiful like big artist when uh, when he wants like equality even Nicolas Jain is an ensemble he has like r racial equality and gender equality and you can tell that these people really mean it it's not because they are empowered but because it's the way of the world and it should be I really like this kind of approach. La Vera has been amazing because they were playing to me that now there's not a men or women collection anymore. And it's becoming all fluid. And, uh, you know, I really love the style because it's really simple, it's very... Um, beautiful and obviously it resonates with what is my taste in, in fashion. My music is very minimal, very deep and sexy at the same time. And the fact that they loved my music and I loved what they presents kind of makes sense, you know, like a perfect combo. It's been really emotional to me to listen to my music at the catwalk. Because I always been seen like with soundtrack and the movie side of things. But to see in the fashion week, it was very like, wow. I thought it was really, really, really beautiful. <laughs>